hey guys and welcome back to my channel um my channel is a space for caribbean content and today we're going to talk about the movie the book of clarence now if you're like hmm the book of clarence what what does that have to do with the caribbean well one of the stars of the movie is michael ward and michael ward is a jamaican british actor born and well born in jamaica lived there i think for like four years and then moved to the uk so that is the that's the connection between this and the caribbean but before i dive into it guys i just bought this like a jumpsuit uh what do you call it romper of um amazon and it is given i will put a link for it in case anybody else you know wants to cop one the body is not included all right but anyways let us dive into this movie all right so i'm gonna need y'all to do your due diligence as negroes and watch the book of clarence all right and i'm going to tell you why we as a black community and I'm talking about the entire diaspora from Africa to the Caribbean to the UK to America, whatever, Canada, North America. We need more films like this. I'm gonna tell you guys a story. So there's this movie, right, called Year One, and it starred Michael Cera, Jack Black, and I can't remember who else off the top of my head but it was somewhat like of a parody on you know biblical stories um satire and my sense of humor i remember watching it and just finding it so funny because i love i love satire i love anything any kind of like parody you do on something like i tend to enjoy that type of humor and metal said i loved the movie so much but you know one of the first things i noticed there were no black people in the movie and I'm not talking about I'm not talking about people of color in general because I am black, so I'm talking about blackness and um, black people. No, look at my elbow, actually. Black people and um, black people things, but there were no black persons in the movie. Like I did not see myself in anybody, and I recall being so disappointed by that, you know, because I wanted to see myself in you know that kind of space. I've never been one that's really been into. The stereotypical black movies, like if you walk my extra if you said this, but like I'm oh boy, like I'm so I'm kinda tired of shows like alright, and I'm going to use these two as examples, even though they're shows that I really really enjoyed and they are in my top list, but they're the only examples I can think of right now. You know, shows like Snowfall, Top Boy. Um, what are some of the American ones? Black Mafia Family, I haven't watched that. And Power, and like, I'm so tired of seeing black people portrayed in this stereotypical drug, gang, whatever vibes. And it's getting a lot better. It's getting a lot better. But like, my desire is to see us portrayed in more, maybe mythical, or you know like just some different kind of rules and different kind of settings but without without it coming as like a surprise you know without being without it being like not the norm like right now i wouldn't say it is the norm for us to see movies like the book of clarence like no it's it's not and i want it to be the norm because black people aren't a monolith you know we're not just like these one-dimensional people and like all our big movies and shows need to be about drugs and gangs or slavery or like no or you know our black love movies need to have struggle and trauma <coughs> Tyler Perry no like no free free up free up the free way up now so if you haven't seen Book of Clarence please go and watch it because we need the writer, director, producer, we need these people to know that we appreciate content like this and they need to make more. So the movie stars um, Lakeith Stanfield, who you probably know from Atlanta. Yeah, Michael Ward's in it. Um, Sa Cyrus? CJ? CJ? I'm going to put the names because obviously I can't remember. Tiana Taylor is in it. The guy who plays, oh, what's his name? Is it Omar Sy or something like that? He he's in that one French 
show on Netflix, Lupin, the guy who plays Lu Lupin, Lupin, I can't say it, Lupin, he's in it. Um, what's his name from 12 Years a Slave is in it briefly as well. He plays um, John the Baptist. <coughs> I'm usually very good with celebrities and um, actors and the names and stuff, but right now, like, I'm drawing a lot of, a lot of blanks. But there are some very, like, recognizable and notable people in it. And it's basically, it gives this, like, wonderful backstory and it's all black people like yes there are white characters you know they played what a guy like Pontius Pilate and them people the way you call them no the Pharisees no you know the people in what did bar crucify Jesus yeah but anyways so you basically have this historical biblical setting and it's it's all black people I'm gonna mean I don't mean no half a blackness either, like proper, proper, like black, black people, dark skin tone, not no ethnically ambiguous, light skin mixedness, like black people, like, and seeing us in, in that setting, just in that light, I don't know guys, it just made me overwhelmingly happy and I need more i need more of that the movie was just so funny so witty so smart the only thing i didn't like was um act i think book four i think the movie was broken up into four books and i did not like the very last one because i feel like it strayed from the rest of the film where for me the movie started off on this like very light-hearted funny comedy type tone and then it went into a more dark ending or a darker tone towards the end and it did it kind of felt out of place but i digress the point is the movie in my opinion is brilliant i think the writer's name is jerm no it's not jeremy the name start with a j i'm going to look it up and put it for you guys since clearly my brain now work today but guys go and watch it watch it and don't complain about the fact that like it's it, i wouldn't even say it's sacrilegious because it's not you know but it is it is a parody and it does show the biblical events it, it was mostly surrounding i guess jesus and him, the crucifixion and all of that it was like that time period it shows it in 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 a different light and just having black folks as the center of you know a story like this and there was one scene like i remember there was this one scene that really really took my breath away where they were in this like area and i guess they were having like a party but you know a party in those times um and the music and the melanin and the vibe like when it came on over the screen i just remember gasping and i would love to put clips in here i show no but YouTube not get me with no copyright like I refuse it just not gonna happen it not gonna happen guys watch the movie watch the movie so that they can see that you know movies like this are worth being made movies like this do garner attention and fan bases um so yeah just go watch the movie cause I'm tired I'm tired of the same old same old like I'm tired of them something dead you know I want I want different things I want one bag of black elf, I want one bag of black sprite, I want a bag of black troll, black fairies, black pirates, like I want it all, like I want to see us everywhere and not just in other pew pew and the you know, 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 the title or something. I'm tired of those. I'm tired. But it is getting better though. It is getting better. But the Book of Clarence was a refreshing surprise. And I, I have to give it up to Lakeith Stanfield. You know, he's very captivating. He's a, a very good leading man. And all the supporting actors were, they were great. They were hilarious. Um, so, yeah, guys. Please to watch it and if you if you're feeling what i'm putting down let me know like if you understand where i'm coming from with not wanting the stereotypical ghetto hood type of movies just like yeah i, I feel like we're so boxed into that and i but just eat it because we can't relate i cannot relate and i feel like we're so much more than you know those stupid stereotypes like come on now so yeah watch the book of clarence um if you're a smart person, if you enjoy wit, and 
you know, just like smart humor, I think you will enjoy the book of cards. So, it up on Netflix, watch it. Bye, guys.